Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes or new moon reading for August 1st. We are just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, okay? I get people that still ask about the timing. There's no time in the universe, in divine timing. Divine timing, okay? Divine timing. I, like yesterday, I said it was for July 31st. Could be August 1st, could be August 2nd. It's divine timing. That's the date of my reading, okay? So that's the date for my reading, but the timing is fluid. I also get questions about, well, who is this? What sign is this reading for? This reading is not for any specific sign. This is a general reading for the collective. This is an energy that I am picking up on, okay, that's coming in for the general collective. Um, you could call it my tribe. It's for it's for whoever. That's not specifically sign specific. Okay. Um, so what do we have for the August first new moon? What do we what do we got? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What do we have for the August first new moon? caregiver we are with you in spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others especially at the end of their lives just as you received care and love at the start of your life caregivers often fo focus all of their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process Maybe you need to focus on your own well-being. Maybe you need to take care of your own heart. We have a caregiver here who may need a little bit of tender love and care. Somebody's been neglecting themselves. Taking care of everybody else. Ace of Swords reversed. This is a shutdown in communication. No communication. Somebody not waking up. This is... not communicating. Getting on board that train. It's like your train has arrived. This is what this is. This is the chariot and it happens to be a train. Okay. Choo, 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 choo. Here it comes. Here it comes. Get on board. All aboard. All aboard. So getting on board. We got somebody here that is getting on board. Nine of fire, reversed. Nine of wands, reversed. Great personal fear. Great personal fear. Distrustful. I'm going to lay out the cards, then we'll get into it. Oh, the emperor reversed. Of course, of course. I could have just called that one out. Um... Tower. The tower. This is a crash. This is this is uh, that realignment we talked about yesterday. Remember, I said the timing is fluid. This is Uranus. This is the Uranus energy coming in to change your your dynamics. It may cause anger. It may cause despair. It, there's definitely going to be some sort of upheaval. Uh, it's as though something is about to fall down. It's about to crash. Okay, it's it's going to crash. It is. It's going to crash, and, and that's the way it goes. So it's like it's, this is going to be a shock. This, this, is, this, is a, this is a shocking change, okay? Um, I 
Let's get the rest of the cards. The moon. Of course, we have a new moon. It's reversed. This is something is going to be revealed. Something that you didn't see coming. This You couldn't predict this. It was unpredictable. Especially under this Ace of Swords reversed. This is unpredictable. Suspension. The hangman reversed. No longer in suspension. Somebody has seen the light. Six of air. Moving on. This is the, the, the this could be a death of something. An owl is a symbolization of death. Okay, it is change and transformation. Six of swords moving on. We got somebody here that is moving on. They are moving on. And I'm not sure if somebody, and I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, when I read this card, I, I saw those words, end of life. And I'm not sure what is what is happening here. But I would tell everybody that you love, that you love them. And I am probably the most honest tarot reader you will ever find. Anyhow, um, yes, we have some upheaval. We have some destruction. We have something that you could not predict that is about to happen. It could cause anger. I got the goosebumps throughout my whole body. Okay, it could cause um, fear. Uh, whatever, you can't predict this. You see, the time is just about up with that clock. Um, somebody is getting on board. They are going in a new direction. This is a major change. You may have seen this coming, but you couldn't predict when because of the owl is the highest intuitive wisdom. So you may have seen this, this, uh, fall coming you know you knew that it was going to come this realignment but you just didn't know when uh you were waiting with this this hangman but it's reversed there's you're coming out of suspension it's the waiting is over something is arriving it's time to get on board and this is a card of transformation so i feel as though um There's been a, uh, a great personal fear of, of, of taking action, of allowing this alignment, this realignment to happen. There's been great fear of, of what was going to happen. You know, I think that we have somebody here that kind of, you know, with the moon card is very intuitive, you know, had some sort of sense, some sort of sixth sense that, you know, something was going to happen. Here it is very similar to yesterday's the new deal this is the judgment card this is the new deal the new life so this you know I don't know what is happening but judgment I mean what I mean come on now right after this I mean I can't I mean I don't know what to say other than uh, it's a time of, of absolution yep transcendence Evolving, awakening, spiritual renewal, dying to live again. So, the fool reversed. It's scary. It is scary. It's like the fool reversed. There's a new beginning here. There is a new beginning. But somebody has been reluctant to take that leap. Reluctant to take that path out of fear. Afraid. Afraid of, of, of being starting over. But now this new start is here. It's here being brought to you straight from the universe okay universe 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 
universe, universe. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven universe cards. This is universally driven. Higher power is in control. It's time to begin again. The 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 there's it this is a major change, a major life change is happening. Somebody's life is about to change drastically. They have been trying to avoid starting over. They've been trying to avoid this realignment, but it comes to a point where you can't avoid it anymore. Somebody has been refusing to wake up, but now the universe is like, you know what? It's time. We're going to wake you up, whether you like it or not. It is time to live again. Something that has been below the surface with this moon card reversed is about to be revealed. This was something that you could not predict. You could not predict. The universe was in charge. It's about divine timing. It's funny that I started this reading out with that. It's time. The time is up. It's time. It's time for absolution. It's time to release. It's time to live again. It's time to stop living by society's standards. It's time to release control. It's time to go. It's time to get on board. It's time to take back control of your life. It's time to go wherever it is that you're supposed to do or go, whatever. It's time to start over. You're going to have to face your fears now. So we have somebody here that has been struggling to release, but uh, no more, no more. So be prepared, be prepared with this tower card. Be prepared for a major life change. You may wake up and hear something that you totally didn't expect. And I know this is very similar to yesterday's, but the energies tend to stick for a couple of days. And that's the truth. So, I feel as though we have somebody here that is moving away from a troublesome situation and they are moving to a much better place because that is the meaning of the Six of Swords. They've been avoiding it for as long as they can. But now I feel as though there is some sort of universal push. Pew! There you go. Where are we at? I think we can get one more. So, I feel as though we have somebody here that is shutting down communication. They are shutting down completely. They are headed in a new direction. They're getting on board that new train. They are taking the train to freaking paradise. And it ain't here. No longer waiting. I'm not I'm not staying. I'm going. I'm going. That's what's going on. I'm going. Going, going, gone. All aboard. That's what we got here, too. We could be dealing with an Aries. We have Pisces. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, both right here. Cancer and Pisces. Uh, okay, okay. P Pisces and Cancer right here. We have Cancer right here and Pisces right here. So Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Scorpio. Aries again and Scorpio. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries. You know, we ha it doesn't really matter who it is, but that's what I see right now. These are just energies. Um, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here as well. Um, the other signs are here too. They're just We all have these signs in our chart, so it doesn't really matter. But it feels as though it is... I mean, this is called the New Deal. Look at all those people. My phone is ringing. All those people, they're headed. They're, they're, what are they, where are they going? They're going to heaven? You know, I, mean, I don't know where, where they're going, but wherever they're going, you know, it's a time of forgiveness. It's a time of release. It's a time of resurrection. Forgiveness.
rebirth. Look at the people. This is a rebirth. This is a renewal. This is an awakening. All these people are waking up. They're waking up. Wow, it's a major awakening. It's like the great awakening, huh? Is that what that is? Interesting. Wandering path. Enjoy the journey. You don't always need to know where you're going. Accept the fact that sometimes the path in life is meandering. Yet, know that you're always exactly where you need to be, even if it doesn't seem like it. Be present with your journey. Embrace everything that you encounter on the path. It's all for your highest good. Accept what is. This is the key to inner power. When you're traveling, you are in the present moment. A mystic traveler has no specific goals for the future and is not focused upon the destination. Everything is fresh and new. At times, it's difficult to accept everything that occurs on the road of life, especially if the road seems to twist and turn in unexpected ways. It's an act of courage and faith to accept what is, without judgment or dismay, and keep going. Trust that there is a plan for your life, and it is unfolding perfectly. Have faith that you're on the road and that you're meant to travel on, accepting what is. <laughs> this is freaking amazing. However, this card does, does suggest that ev every experience is supporting you for your highest good in your spiritual evolution. This is a so great awakening. That's amazing, huh? If there's something you can't accept, start by gently accepting the fact that you can't accept it. Allowing for your own wandering path is the key to grace and peace in your life. So we have somebody here that is headed to a place. I don't know where this came from. Called paradise. And that includes releasing what no longer serves them. And the universe is here to help. You may wake up to a telephone call. It may not be during the morning. I don't know. This reading may or may not be for you. But whatever this is, this is a major life change that is all happening for a greater purpose. Don't fight it. Accept it. And move on. Good luck.